Good afternoon. Okay, let's get started, everybody. It's nice to see you all in the afternoon instead of so early in the morning. So, homework. Good job on your homework, everybody. We had a lot more people do it than usual. We can see Zalin, Kiwi, Leo. We had some really good ones. Noob had a good picture. Dami had a good picture. Sal made a video for his. So did Teddy. Um, let's have a couple people share theirs. I left it open on this screen so we could choose them as we go. Let's have, who wants to share theirs from 2E10? I've had the usual raise their hands. Kaki, Michael, Bo, thank you, Simon. Very good. Let's have, um, Michael, do you want to share about yours? Yes. Good, go ahead. Amazing drawing, by the way. Your plastic in the water looks really nice. Go ahead, Michael. I'm drawing a picture of the turtle, and as you can see, I'm drawing a picture of plastic trash in the sea. Mmm, very good. Can you read two of your questions for us? How plastic trash got there, and how plastic got thrown in. Very good. Thank you, Michael. All right. Thank you for sharing. Great drawing, and good job on your homework. All right, well, thank you to everyone who did their homework. We got to have a good look at all of them. All right, here we have Chihi drew a bird eating the eggs as a trouble. Dami had a really good drawing of the leopard. Excellent drawing, Dami. I see you drew his health declining like in a video game from all of the Lay's chips bags. Excellent job. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. All right, we're going to play a quick review game about sea turtles. So everyone get ready to answer some questions. All right, what threatens the sea turtle's life? Tell me and I will let your class survive. So I need help figuring this out. Number one, what threatens the sea turtle's life here? Simon? It is trash. Trash, excellent. I need one more. One more thing that threatens the eggs. Cherry? Cherry and Jenny, what's another thing that threatens the eggs? Plastic. Good, plastic. So we've said trash. Is there one more thing? Class, we failed the first one. As a class, we failed the first one. There are predators that eat the eggs. The dirty beaches. The dirty beaches was the only one we got. And humans' food. Remember, people eat the eggs. Animals eat them, humans eat them, and plastic on the beaches. Let's see if class can redeem ourselves with number two. What threatens the turtle now? Now that it's going out to the water, what threatens the turtle? Khaki? Some small turtles, mm -hmm. a sea trash, and think that is a jellyfish, and it eat. Yes, very good. But this turtle's not quite in the water yet. How about Dami? Predator. Predators. Predator. Excellent job. Can we think of one more, Bo? Trash and it. If the beach has trash, the turtle will be stuck and cannot uh, go into the sea and other predators eat them. Very good, Bo. So good teamwork, everyone. Climate change, if it's too hot, then there's too many females was the only one we missed. But you guys actually got this one too. So that was when they were just born. So too many females because when the eggs get hot, climate change. But class, we definitely passed number three. The sea turtles get stuck in bags. They can't make it out to the ocean because of that and, and pollution. All right, and we also have shells for human use. What can humans make using the shells? 
What do humans use the shells for? Jenny, go ahead, Jenny. Sell, sell. To, to sell them, yes. But what do humans make from turtle shells? Do you remember, Jenny? Uh, uh, guitar. Yeah, guitar was one of them. Good answer. Very good. Khaki also said guitar in the chat. Great job, Khaki. All right, number four. Someone mentioned one of these earlier, but what threatens an adult sea turtle at number four? What threats do we have? Dami? Eat grass. Eat plastic bag. Be yes. eaten. Yes. Excellent job, Dami. Anyone else have anything to add? Zoyman? People catch them and kill them. Yes, people catch them and kill them. There's one more thing I'm looking for. We have plastic, people hunting them, but there's one more. Simon says oil. Simon, that's a great one. I'm looking for one more idea. Something that happens on accident when we're trying to catch something else to eat. We're trying to catch something else to eat and they accidentally get hurt. Any ideas? Nancy, go ahead. They just uh, get stuck in people's nets when they, they are fishing, trying to catch fish, you know, turtles. And second, when, when the ships pass by, sometimes it leaks oil or it, the turtle uh, swims near the the fan flippers and get scratched or something, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be killed. Yes, exactly. So from the ship, from its motor going fast, and like she said, in fishing nets, in fishing nets, they accidentally get caught. Great job. And the last one, what affects the sea turtle when they try and come back to the beach? They come back to the beach they were born on to lay eggs. What could hurt it? What could trouble it or stop it from having its eggs there? Ruby? Us people build something on the beach so it cannot go. Excellent answer. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. People build on the beach. And now all of a sudden, it can't come back onto the beach to lay its eggs because females lay their eggs on the same beach they were born on. What if that beach is completely covered in buildings now? Excellent job, everybody. Thank you for warning me about the dangers of being a sea turtle. Thank you, everybody. Let's see if you remember what the words endangered, extinct, and conservation mean. Everyone get ready to draw and please match the, the word to its definition. Ready, set, go. Okay, so excellent job guys. Endangered, I see a couple conflicting ones. Endangered is mostly going to this middle one here, which says not a lot left. So if it's endangered, the number of them left on earth is getting really small. Extinct, we mostly have towards none left, which is correct. A couple of them, it has two lines going up to protecting or using less but most of you got that one right as well. Extinct means there's none left. And conservation is protecting or using less. Remember when we learned about conserving water? Now we're doing conservation for animals. Okay, can everyone please say the word endangered? Endangered! Good. Okay. Um, Cherry, Hai Fong, Kitty, Min Huang, can you all say endangered? Endangered. Endangered. Now, everyone, please say extinct. 
One, two, three. Not much. Mm -hmm. Okay, importance of sea turtles. Do you know why I'm important? Let's brainstorm. Who has any ideas of why sea turtles are important? Why are sea turtles important? Who wants to take a guess? They are important because they are the keystone. Yes, they are a keystone species. Great job, Kitty. Does it, what do you think they do for the environment? Any guesses? What do they do for the environment? Yes, Nancy? Yeah, I know two things about the turtles. Those, those sea turtles are very important because they do eat sponges that compete with reefs to take up space. And one more thing is, really, the, the sea turtles control their prey. Mmm, got it. Okay, wow, that was really good. Exactly, they help control their prey, they help the coral reefs. Those were some great ideas, Nancy. Just like Nancy said, number one, who can read this for me? Are you there, Minhuang? Yes. Hello, could you please read this for me? Turtle have control the apple rice. For example, these are back. Help manage the amount of jellyfish in ocean. We help with by eating sponges compared with them for spice. Very good, Min Huang. Can you please say the word compete? Compete. Very good. Excellent. Thank you for reading, Min Huang. So they eat jellyfish in the ocean and sponges that help, uh, this eating the sponges helps the coral reefs. Eating the jellyfish helps the rest of the fish in the ocean since jellyfish eat them. Excellent job. Hawksbill allow other species such as coral to colonize and grow by removing sponges from the reefs. So sea turtles are really important in keeping coral reefs safe. How do sea turtles help seagrass? Let's find out. Who can read this one for me? Who can read this one? Kitty? When green sea turtles graze, they, they increase the productivity and nutrients contains of seagrass blades. Excellent job, Kitty. Thank you. Thank you. So when sea turtles graze, that means eat. When they eat the seagrass, they increase the productivity and nutrients of the seagrass. So it helps the seagrass. Who can read the top part? Green turtles grazing. Cherry. Cherry, could you read the part in white up here? Cherry. Number two. Yep, number two, right here from green turtles. Green turtles grazing on the grass is an, is an important way to keep sea grass healthy and healthy sea grass being with benefit many spices and dwarf caron yes so can you say benefits many species benefits many species very good thank you so much cherry all right so this really helps keep the seagrass beds healthy. When they're healthy, then all of the animals that live in the seagrass are healthier. Excellent job, any, everyone. Are there any benefits for these animals? What do, how do sea turtles benefit these animals? Simon? Um, they, they eat the eggs. Excellent, they eat the eggs. How does that help them? That they, if some if they eat the right the right eggs that have baby baby turtles inside so and then the baby turtle baby turtles eggs cannot cannot born out 
and and they and and no and there will be no turtle eggs. Yes, exactly. So that's how one way that the sea turtles become endangered. But you're right; they eat them, and it helps. It's food. It's an important food source. An important food source for many animals. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this one. How about vegetation? How about vegetation? How do you guys think vegetation can help the sea turtles? Um, Michael? They help the sea turtles for food. They eat them. How does, how, not how does the vegetation help the sea turtles, but how do the sea turtles help the vegetation? They eat the, veg, the vegetation and makes it healthy. Maybe, that's a good guess. I'll give you guys a hint. It's the eggs. How might the eggs help the, the uh, vegetation? How might the eggs help, Dami? Give nutrients. Yes, short but sweet, great answer. These vital nutrients allow the continued growth of vegetation and it helps the beach dunes. All right, these uh, vegetation on the beach provides food for a lot of plants eating animals. Can someone read this part in the gray for me? Let's have Kaki. The turtles improve their nesting beaches by doubling upon nectar's source of high equality, quality nutrients. Yes, very good. Can you say the word supplying a concentrated? Concentrated. Yeah, much better. Excellent job, Kaki. Thank you. So just like Donnie said, they supply nutrients. After they crawl out of their eggs and crawl away, those eggshells are really, really healthy for the plants that grow around the beach. Number five, what do you see on the sea turtle shell? What do you see there? Let's see, Nuna, what do you see on the sea turtle shell? Mm. Any ideas, Nuna? What do, you, what do you see on the sea turtle shell? Shells. Yeah, shells, right? Maybe shells of a different animal. Michael said they might be clams. Dami said in the chat, maybe a fungus, right? Maybe a couple of different things. So let's see. The sea turtles are important because they provide a habitat. Who can read this one for me? Who can read this one for me? Jenny, Jenny, could you read this for me? Many marine, marine, marine organisms really on sea. Total as a place to call home. The small, the small. Creatures, creatures attack themselves to sail surface in ocean. Such such a floating despair the sea total shell. Good, you can stop there. Floating debris. Debris is like trash or wood. So these marine organisms, these marine animals attach themselves to the sea turtle shells so it gives them a home what do you think is happening here what do you think is happening here um min huang what do you think is happening here do you have a guess about what's happening here min huang what might the fish be doing <laughs> That's okay. Here, let's give um, Boyman any guesses about what's happening in this picture. The fish is eating those creatures. Yeah, the fish are eating the creatures on the sea turtle's back. Great answer. Thank you, Zoyman. 
This is by carrying around barnacles, algae, and other organisms. Sea turtles provide a food source for, frit, for fish and shrimp. These fish establish cleaning stations for sea turtles to visit. Who can read this last part for me? Go ahead, Min Huang. Could you read this bottom part for me? Read off the limbs and a raised head. Sea turtle expose their bodies, offering a meal to eager fish and shim. Excellent job. Good pronunciation as well, uh, Min Huang. Very good. So they provide a meal. They provide a meal for the fish. Very good. Okay, that's all of them. So here are our six. Here are our six. Let's quickly read through them. Oh, actually, we're running close on time here. So let's move on to the next part. I'll read this quickly. One, they control their prey like the jellyfish. Two, keep seagrass healthy. Three, hatchlings are food. Four, eggs give nutrients to the plants on the beach. Five, sea turtles provide a habitat. And six, they provide food for fish. Okay, next class we have a fun game to play to practice this. So be ready, study up, and next class, you guys will have a game to play that will help you guys practice what we just learned. All right, your homework tonight is going to be to read an article and take notes on it. It's going to help you in class tomorrow because tomorrow we're learning some really difficult things about scientists and what scientists are doing to help sea turtles, okay? So please do your homework, take your notes, all right? And I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. All right, goodbye everybody.